Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a makeup tutorial based on a picture I saw of Kim Kardashian that her makeup artist, Makeup by Mario, posted on Instagram. And this picture is her wearing this um, blue smoky eye. I did this look for her new website that's supposed to be coming out soon. So I decided to recreate it, especially since Mario is like the ambassador, I think, the ambassador for Anastasia Beverly Hills. And he was he posted a picture of this palette like months before it came out. So I'm pretty sure he used this palette, especially this blue, to do this look. Pretty sure, I don't know, because he didn't um, list the uh, the product detail. So yeah, if you like this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so first I'm starting off with priming my eyes. And then I'm priming my face using the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. This primer doesn't claim to have any mattifying properties, so I use my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer in my T-zone. Now I'm taking my City Colors Brow Powder Duo and I'm using both shades to fill in my eyebrows. And now I'm setting my eyebrows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And now I'm taking the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in the shade Cream Caramel. And I'm using that to highlight under my brow bone. And then I'm going to blend it out. Now I'm setting the concealer with Soft Peach from the Anastasia Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette. And now I'm taking the shade Morocco and I'm using that as my transition color. Even though Kim doesn't seem to be wearing a very noticeable transition color, I didn't want the eyeshadow to go from blue to nothing. Now I'm taking my Urban Decay 24 7 pencil in the shade Perversion and I'm using that as a black base. Now I'm applying more of Morocco to my crease to redefine the color and to blend it in with the black base. Now I'm taking the shade Azure from the palette and I'm applying that to my lid. This color is going to be the focal point of the makeup tutorial. Also I'm making sure to extend the shadow past my eye a little bit because Kim did seem to have it winged out a little. And now I'm taking my blending brush and I'm blending the two colors together with no extra product. And now I'm taking this orange corrector from the Anastasia Cream Contour Palette and I'm using that to color correct under my eyes, around my mouth, and any darkness I have on my face. Now I'm taking my NARS foundation, my NARS Sugar Glow foundation and my L'Oreal Infallible True Match and I'm combining both of those to get my, I don't know, my signature color and I'm using that as my foundation. Now I'm taking the same Sephora concealer and I'm using that to highlight under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and I think my cubist bone chin. I'm thinking of doing a, a comparison and review on this concealer. I want to compare it to the NARS Share Glow. They seem like they would be similar.
Now I'm taking the shade Espresso from the Cream Contour Kit and I'm using that to contour my cheekbones and my jaw. And now I'm taking the shade Chocolate and I'm using that to contour my nose. I'm blending all of that out with my Real Techniques um, sponge. Now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder and I'm using that to bake my highlight with. And while that's baking, I'm taking all the shadows I put on my eyelid and putting that to my lower lash line. And now I'm dipping my LA Girl gel liner pencil and into my Inglot 77 liner gel liner and I'm using that to apply liner to my waterline and into my tight line. Now I'm lining my lid with the Inglot gel liner. I noticed that Kim had a small wing so I didn't want to do anything too dramatic. Now I'm applying more of the azure color because it didn't look as blue as I wanted it to. And now I'm dusting off all the excess powder. So now I'm using Subconscious from the Shading Light palette to powder contour my face. And then I use the shade Shadow Play to contour my nose. Now I'm using Becca's Champagne Pop to highlight my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. And now I'm using a ColourPop blush that I can't remember the name of. It will be listed down below. And now I'm using Max Taupe Lipstick and Milani's Coral Crush Lip Gloss. So that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm going to be a drugstore back to school makeup tutorial and it's